So, uh, going in our own order here, I, I want to talk. I want to start with uh, Mac OS because I, I, we are, you know, I know we all use iPhones and most of us use Apple Watches and all that good stuff and iPads and and all that. But Mac OS is our is what started us here 17 years ago. It'll be 17 years on Monday, but uh, but that's a, that we'll celebrate that on Monday. But I wanted to talk about Mac OS Ventura here. And the things that the, the thing that jumped out at me first was uh, what they've done with mail. It, you know, there are I, I've often talked about plugins that I use in mail to accomplish sending later uh, triggering reminders, all of that stuff. And now they've got scheduled send in mail, which looks I'm, I'm curious to see how if it's something that I can automate Right. Because right now I have every message. I use a small cube mail suite to send every message with, you know, a two minute delay and I can override that. But my, that I've set that as my default. I'm curious to see what Apple does. And I have not installed the, the beta yet. But, you know, the, the, the reminders, the integrations in mail, it's nice to see that Apple is is doing some things there, which is which is cool. Um, and, and then uh, the enhanced search. In mail, I think will mail has needed a search revamp, and so I was glad to see that too. Mm -hmm. But but that for that that was the first. If I had to order by priority uh, of, or by impressiveness for me, just seeing Apple pay some attention to mail in macOS is a great thing. I I'm I'm happy for that. So that was that was the top of my list. I have other things on my list. How about what about you, John? For macOS, what what jumped out at you first? They mentioned, um, uh, so they got a new password thing going on, and it, it kind of crosses, a, 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 it's not just Mac OS, but it's iOS as well. Sure. But, um, this whole pass keys yep. concept, I think, is very interesting in that I... it's it's like passwordless access to your stuff. And right. I still got to look into exactly what they're, I mean, it, it, it includes public key cryptography, which you already have, but um, just the whole concept of you not having to have a password, I think is pretty powerful. Yeah, I, I agree. And they're, they're, these pass keys are being created slash used as part of the FIDO Alliance, which means it's cross-platform yeah. with Google and Microsoft and all of that. Yeah, I, I'm eager to hear your human-translated interpretation of it after you watch the the Dub Dub sessions on passkeys this week. So maybe maybe next week's show we'll have a, a dig a deep dive into that because I would I would love to hear your thoughts on passkeys, John. Yeah, that's I I figured that might jump out to you. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Um, the other thing that jumped out at me is shared tab groups in Safari. Yes. So we've talked about these tab groups and how we've been sort of struggling to find use cases for them, but shared tab groups, as soon as I saw that, it was like, oh, wait a minute. Like this would be great. Even just for what we're doing here. Wouldn't it be amazing to have a tab group that is live that, that we're using as we're doing the show and we can add things to it or remove things from it. And it's just this collaborative group of of tabs or of sites that are open in Safari as tabs. I think that is perhaps one of the best use cases of tab groups I've seen so far. So that 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 really jumped out at me. I, I'm eager to see how how experientially that plays out, uh, as I am with all of these things, of course. Uh, but yeah, that that the, the the shared tab groups was an interesting thing for me. So it seemed like that jumped out at you too, John, huh? Yes. Yeah. Pete, do um, you have? Oh, go ahead, John. Sorry. Now the other thing, um, stage manager. Yeah. So it's it, it, if I had to encapsulate it, it's like Finder Plus, <laughs> or it's well... like here's the, here's the things we didn't quite get right with the finder so we're going to give you this thing called stage manager that makes managing your windows and stuff a little easier yeah, but it's not the finder it's it's like the entire interface because it's 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 not limited yeah. to the finder it's in fact it's all apps Is right more like it, launchpad or, or yeah launchpad. yeah well it, what's the other one where you can 
get the window to show all your apps. Well, sorry. It's more. It's like mission control or mission full control. screen mode. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's full screen mode, but with the ability to see what other uh, apps you have open. And I like that. And again, I haven't experienced it yet. It seems like it's very. As as soon as I saw this, my thought was okay. Well, on my multi monitor display, I almost certainly don't want that. Uh, because I've I've figured out all my layouts and I have things where I want them. But on my laptop, when traveling, you know, recently I've been talking about how with my travels, I've been bringing an extra screen with me so that I can manage all of my stuff at once with stage manager. Maybe I wouldn't need that extra screen as often because I can, you know, it would manage that for me. It seemed like very much geared towards single display use cases and smaller displays like you would find on a laptop. Or on an iPad, which, of course, we'll talk about later in the in the episode, because stage uh, stage manager does come to iPad. But, yeah, that that whole managing of windows and you can have multiple windows in a group uh, on iPad. I believe it's four. I don't know what the max is on the Mac. It might it, it might also be four, but it, it might be more than that. Or there might not be a maximum because you've got you know potentially larger screen real estate. But um, but, yeah, I. Again, I'm curious to see what the how that how I can make that work or if I find a way to make that work. But, yeah, it I can I can see the benefits there, stage manager. But, yeah, hey, it's it's not just the finder, John. Right. I mean, it's mm-hmm. it's for yeah, it's, it's, it's the it's whole perfect. system. Yeah, it's the whole system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I I, yeah, I don't know. Do you do you when you saw it, did you think, oh, I'll use this? No. OK, <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. Yeah. How yeah, often is that, though? I mean, when they come out with a new feature, you're like, yeah, I don't know. You were saying earlier, I don't see the use of shared ta- or tab. Yeah. Tab groups, ta- but now, oh, shared. Oh, okay. So, yeah. you know, they, they, they have a further. They see better than I range, do. Yeah, downrange yeah. where they're going with something. Yeah. Well, I mean, focus mode is a great recent example of that, right? Like last year over the summer, I was like, I can't imagine why I would ever want to use something like yeah, that. And now disturb or no, or disturb. No. <laughs> yeah. And now it's everything. Like I, 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 it's integrated into everything I use. So, yeah. Yeah. Which is I, actually, you were starting to ask me something and I was going to confess that that's the one part of the, the keynote I have not seen yet is the Mac okay. OS. But okay. you talked about tabs and I, and, and I thought about uh, the shared tabs and I thought, Oh, about the focus modes. And I don't know if that it's probably in Mac OS too. It, well, I'm sure it's in Mac OS as well. Um, it, that, uh, you can turn on focus and it will turn off certain tabs. And I, the problem I see with that is you're going to hide tabs from yourself and be going, Whoa. but yeah, where did they go? Yeah. Oh, it's a focus mode issue. Yes. So, no, um, you're right. Oh, that That's cool. But you're going to hide stuff from yourself early on until you're used to the fact that you're, it depends on what focus mode you're in, whether or not you're going to see some tabs you've, you've hidden. Yeah. Well, and yeah, I have run into that with focus mode, even as it currently exists where I'll put myself in a focus mode and then forget that my devices are in that. On on iPhone, I know right away when I see the lock screen that I'm in a focus mode. I do not know that when I launch my Mac. Like you know, there there's there's like a little dot up next to the you know the yeah. um, the 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 thing that says, "Hey, there's notifications you haven't seen because you're in a focus mode that hides them." But that's not enough. Like right. there's no obvious. Hey, dum dum, you you know. It's been 20 minutes, you started, or, you know, you got up and came back. Do you, do you, re, do you realize you're still in a focus mode? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think, I think we're going to see more examples of people getting caught by that. So to use some, some familiar language. <laughs> hey, hey, Dave, just a heads up. Uh, you, uh, your voice digitized a little bit there and your, and your video froze for a It's going to be, I, I would, I, it, okay. thank you. Yeah. Sorry. It's completely a non-issue for 99.9% of the audience who's listening to the audio. But, yeah, there's something, for those of you that are watching this on video or, or watching these segments later, there's some weird issue between me and StreamYard where, uh, it, like, yeah. my well, You've got my, good sound going down to your to your disc, so. Correct. Come out fine on the, okay. Yeah. No, you, yeah, but it's it's worth it. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned it so that people know we're aware of it. The people that are watching on the on the video, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So we may have to move away from Streamyard if uh, if this continues. This is yeah, you know, a little platform. There are plenty of platforms like this. Yeah, so it's all good. Uh, anything else? Well, 
yes, I have I have a couple other things. Uh, John, do you have anything else from macOS Ventura? Um, the spotlight enhancements look nice, and once I saw it, it's like, why doesn't it do this already? <laughs> yes, agreed. <laughs> which which enhancement specifically jumped out at you? Um, like uh, showing photos. So when you're searching, it actually will display thumbnails of whatever you're searching for, sure. which it doesn't quite do right now. So, yep, I yep. thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah, no, yeah, you, yeah, you're right. It, the the ability to start a timer from within Spotlight on the Mac, mm. uh, the the <sighs> search results now include the index of live text. So if you're searching for something that's like text in a picture, Spotlight should be able to pick that up, or at least we'll pick it up more uh, than it does now, which is never. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. and live text. I mean, that's another one. So they enhance that as well. That's yes. cool. Yeah. Yes. And that you can have it do it on videos, right? I'm assuming that's part of Mac OS. I, mm -hmm. I, I know it's part of iOS 16, which we'll talk about a little later in the episode here, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that that carries over to Mac OS, uh, but I could be wrong about that. They didn't, I don't recall them saying one way or another whether that made it to Mac OS, but it, it, it may well have. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, the continuity camera is a feature that, uh, uh, yes. yeah, that, that uh, really jumped out at me because when we do these shows, as listeners know, I've been using an iPhone as my webcam because all other webcams suck. And I've been using uh, Reincubate's camo to, to accomplish that. And now, well, once we have macOS Ventura, I'll be able to stop using Reincubate's camo. Maybe we'll see, we'll see how well it works. But the thing that excited me the most was the Belkin... MagSafe mount that lets you take your iPhone and mount it on top of your screen so that you can, um, because other, because you know, like these mounts are a pain in the neck to, to use. Like there's, mm -hmm. there's no good mount to, uh, to, to, to see this. And, but Apple has been working with Belkin and they've got these mounts that, uh, that just mag safe to your phone and hang over the top. And then they're using the wide angle camera. So this is, this is where Apple yeah. can beat every other webcam maker because Apple It's funny. I was having, they know dinner. how to turn on which camera. Well, I was having dinner with a friend not that long ago and, and he commented, he's like, you know, Apple's more of a camera company now than a phone company or a computer company. It's like, well, I mean, a lot of their, like technological smarts and R and D investments in are into the software side of making their cameras work phenomenally well. And what they're doing with continuity camera is not only are you using the iPhone as your webcam where you get portrait mode and you get, you know, the center stage where it follows you around and all of that good stuff, but they've also got, uh, uh did I write it down here? Yeah. Desk view, which, takes the ultra wide camera and can see what's on like your desk and keyboard underneath the camera. And they, they do some, they must do some like magical smarts with it in order to like de skew that image and make it look like it's supposed to look right. Cause it, it's going to be on the fringe of that camera's view, which always gets sort of, you know, rough and, and uh, you know, distorted and all of that. But yeah, no, I like, it's pretty cool what they're doing with it and smart, smart. So I'm curious when we'll get those cameras just built into a Mac, but maybe never. I don't know. I don't know. Anything more on, but I'm excited about that. Obviously very, very excited about that. Anything more on Mac OS before we start talking about this new M2 chip? Um, I think this was part of that, but a uh, studio light. I, ha I have okay. a note here. Okay. What's that? Well, apparently they've added more smarts to the image processing, but oh. it was neat watching it in that, yeah. you know, you saw it before and after and it was like, oh, wow, the after is a lot better. So what, like, explain what, Studio what you light, saw. Uh, yeah. 
from what I recall from watching it, it would basically just make your lighting better yeah, using like image processing. An enhanced yeah. portrait mode kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 